hello, hello, you little bottom. Hello, little bottom. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, you want to cross the bridge. Ah, oh, you little bottom. I don't know why I'm doing this. I like it, though. Oh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my my cottage here in the woods, little bottom. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, enough of that. Hello. I hope you're having a good Monday, listener. Thanks for listening. Uh, I've got a bunch of tour dates coming up, traveling all over the place, so get those text messages. I'll text you when I'm in your area. I'm also wearing our Bottom Nation merch. Bottom Nation merch. We've got merch. Go buy it. There's stuff that's super gay, like the Bottom Nation shirt, or also gay, we're having gay sex shirt, and then a little more coded, the WHS shirt. Just to let the gays around you who listen know, but maybe not your boss. I know you appreciate that. And patreon.com slash WHS to support the pod, to support my comedy special. Let's get Maddie to 20K. Uh, this is a Brie episode. We're, we're still working through some of those, but let's get Maddie to Maddie uh, to, to 20K. Uh, Maddie T. Wiener on Instagram. And then this week, a highly requested guest, Kira Graves, Kira Graves, actor, Canadian content creator. You guys love them. You've been requesting them for a really long time and we get into, and also funny story, they were a couple minutes late, nothing crazy, but they were a couple minutes late because they were having sex right before the pod. It's a fun little conversation. And then we talk about having sex on the clock. Well, you know, you've got an appointment or maybe a podcast recording coming up. Does that turn you on or does that turn you off? We get into that on the episode today. Great episode. Um, I'm a little tired, I'm a little under the weather, but you guys make me happy. And uh, it's nice to read your messages on a little sick day. I love you. I was late for this podcast because I was having gay sex. That's Ooh, so awesome. I love this. Round of applause. Wait, I got another one for you. It's the oh, best thing I've ever yeah. heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, there's more. Oh. <laughs> that was you before the podcast. <laughs> that is wow. everything that was playing <laughs> during it. <laughs> nah, thank you so much for doing this. You are, a lot of people have requested you, Kira. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're a oh. YouTuber. You're a queer YouTuber. Pe- people love the queer YouTubers. Yay. They don't, I'm so they don't love me. They just want the YouTubers. <laughs> right. They're like, the numbers, just get some YouTubers on. The numbers we'll skyrocket when we have a YouTuber on. And, really? Uh, oh, yeah. And I'm, like, bringing my most talented, famous friends who, like, you know. <laughs> Build write rocket for, ships. Yeah, whatever. Whatever no they cares. do. No one gives a shit. They're like, YouTuber? <laughs> Not to diminish what you do. I love that I, you come in and I'm like, listen, you piece of shit. People <laughs> like you and I don't really understand why. No, I totally I totally understand why. Queer YouTubers are have been like huge for helping people come out of the closet. It's been like changed the whole dynamic of the entire internet. I was going to say, totally. Ash, also your like entire gig the last few months has been trying to be a queer YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Your your videos have come up on my recommended. Yeah, they have. Yay, it's yeah. working. It's zoom working. zoom. I'm a YouTuber. Animation. Flame. Subscribe. <laughs> Turn your notifications on. Smash that oh, like God. button. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Wait, I can do that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I have the soundboard today. It's really fancy around here. Yeah, super <laughs> fancy. A little low energy, but I'm I'm gonna bring the energy up because we do have a beloved guest, a friend of another beloved guest, an all around beloved human being, Kira <laughs> uh, Graves. On did I get that right? Graves. Graves. I was. Yes. Oh, I have it wrong on my phone. It's, it's written okay. right there, also on the screen. But it's also written up there on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's written also all over the ah, internet. <laughs> ah, <laughs> All right. Listen, some people. Ash is a shell of a human right now. I'm really. I'm so tired. I, she I got heckled pain. really bad on the weekend. I got really super heckled over the weekend at oh. one of my shows in a way that um, hurt my soul. It pierced. It pierced my hard <laughs> comedian shell. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. That is so vulnerable. Like doing comedy on a stage. Is that what you well, were doing? That's, 
Yeah. I'm a stand-up comedian. So you okay. know who the fuck I am. You don't I know do. who the fuck I am. Now, there we go. You don't even know that I'm a fucking comedian. So now we're even. I know you have a funny podcast. <laughs> I know nope. that you're a comedian on a podcast. Nope. Oh, nope. I love nope. Uh, okay. Now we're even. I don't know your name, whoever you are. Kara Griffin uh, <laughs> is doing our, our podcast today, the uh, queer uh, sexual podcast. I don't know. Um, we're having straight sex. That, that's the name of my podcast. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're here. This is a comedy podcast. Yes. You are correct about that. Thank you for and having I, me. I, I'm I'm truly like I know I've been messing around, but whenever I can get someone who the listeners have been requesting, I'm so so happy, and I'm so mm-hmm. glad that Georgia connected us. And yeah. I do hope you have a really great time. Absolutely, you guys are awesome. <laughs> and then uh, I got to come up with a. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm hitting a wall actively. Can you see it, Brie? Can you see yes. me? Like, just you're falling just, apart at the seams. I am. I'm falling apart. It's like a car crash right now. <laughs> you're you also very pixelated. Like your video is like so pixelated. So maybe it, it's like a reflection of a your blur. inner self. It is. I think it's it's coming through. I'm just tired. I'm, to be perfectly being. honest, I'm just like super, just super tired. Really busy. Yeah. Really tired. Just trying to, it's interesting because I'm trying to bring on more team members, you know, uh, do all the things that I need to do to like get less tired. But like to do that, you actually have to be more tired. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, it takes work to put like systems in place. So before it gets better, it gets worse. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that's where I'm at. Did you have a good weekend? Um, other than my diarrhea problem, yes. <laughs> yeah, wait, let's talk about that. Let's move away from me being tired and move on to your diarrhea. <laughs> let's talk about my diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I literally think it had to do with my partner leaving for like a week mm, to go shut up. home. <laughs> and oh, I'm I so am- happy. I'm in a loving relationship. I live with my partner and they went home to see their family because they have a family that loves them and I'm part of a beautiful, beautiful family. And whenever they leave me, I shit like a like an insecure neurotic cat. I shit all over the house because my love for this person is just too strong so and it cannot be tamed. Thing. Seems legit, honestly. I mean, I can't explain. That's the only like Relatable. reason because I don't think I was sick. Like I don't know what else it would have been. So that's my explanation. Yeah. So it was really terrible. <laughs> I was up all night until five a.m running back and forth oh, no, are you okay awful. to the toilet <laughs> i'm good that's now awful. i feel better that's now good. i had a solid poop today so i'm happy oh, i was gonna say wonderful. thank god this would be an interesting taping if we had to we had to break imagine and my <laughs> no, bathroom think... is right here like that's my bathroom <laughs> just keep going back and forth <laughs> bring the headphones in is it a long enough cord that we could go in there with you <laughs> honestly i'll just bring my laptop and sit yeah in the toilet <laughs> i saw a meme this morning about well, I don't know if you call it a meme. What do people call like, oh, like an infographic on on Instagram, yes. Yes. Uh, a carousel about how you're supposed to be pooping. And I was like, no one poops like this. There's no how way. How are we supposed to be pooping? Fill us in. It was like once to twice a day, your poops are supposed to be the size of and the shape of a banana. What? Yeah. <laughs> and it's supposed to like all come out at once. And there's going to supposed to be little to no wiping involved. What? That's, what that's bullshit. That is so bullshit. And you know what? Like, they taught us that in nutrition class too. When I like yes. was in high school, I took like a nutrition class and that's what they were saying. They were saying it was supposed to be this beautiful poop that comes out. <laughs> and if you don't have a beautiful poop, it's, it's a bad poop. Like if it doesn't yeah. come out like a, like a snake or like with a little <laughs> tail and it's like a light brown. Yes. Is it any other thing? They were like, you're terribly ill if you have any other type of shits. And I was like, yes. well, fucking check me in somewhere because yes. this is not happening for me. I only have other types of shits. I, <laughs> I uh, Some days I don't shit at all. I'm super just clogged up. I, <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. Just, the pressure on my asshole. Is, <laughs> don't force it. <laughs> well, yeah. what, are you, what are you supposed to do? You're going to get let hemorrhoids. It be? <laughs> I... I probably already have hemorrhoids. I'm not letting anyone see that. You would know. Do you eat fruit? 
Like, yeah, I eat fruit. <laughs> Do you drink water? I have water? a smoothie every day. Yeah, I drink water. I got my cup right here. Listen, I'm under <laughs> I'm under a lot of stress. And pressure, <laughs> pressure makes diamonds in my asshole. Oh. And that is what's happening. That's that what like physically hurts. On. Like thinking about diamonds in there. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Kira, seriously, you are highly requested. A lot of people love you. I've seen you make TikToks, right? Yes. I think I've seen some of your viral TikToks, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> in my feed or someone tagging me or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so great. Th- yeah. Thanks. I think I think you've got a big following there, right? Mm-hmm. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> All right. I well, don't know what I do that's so special. You know what I mean? It's like imposter syndrome. It's like apparently I'm yeah. like wanted on this podcast. Like, yeah. I, I'm, and I'm like, but why? <laughs> but thank you. You're like, but why? Because you're likable. I can tell mm-hmm. you already you're likable because you might have good poops one day. <laughs> oh. Maybe you usually have good poops. I usually do. Um, <laughs> but you're obviously very likable. I'm very glad that you're here. T- tell tell me, because I really don't fucking know, obviously, what you think you do, because <laughs> I don't even know your name. Are people <laughs> going to know that I'm messing around? Guys, I'm messing around. I mean, I, I don't, don't know. People I on the internet, know. it's touch and go. Some people don't get the don't get the jokes they think you're they think that you seriously aren't respecting your guests ash and you need to figure well it i out. deeply respect all of my guests are better than i am so <laughs> deeply respect what you guys do trying to copy you guys so that i can get bigger you're killing it you're doing a good am job I? yes i don't think Absolutely. i don't believe you i'm gonna go i'm gonna go look at but tell tell people for the listeners who don't know wow i'm barely hosting right now this is just for the listeners who don't might not know you tell people about yourself kira okay cool yeah i'm mainly an actor and i kind of do social media on the side um and yeah i'm a content creator i have a youtube channel i have a tiktok i talk about queer shit i talk about gay sex um and mental health sometimes I didn't realize you were an actor. I feel stupid. I thought you were mostly a YouTuber. Yeah. What oh. the fuck is wrong with me? What are you working? Are you working on anything cool right now? Or where, where can people watch you? I am. Um, well, honestly, it's, it's a lot of things. You can go to my IMDb. Um, I for am working long, on long list for the list. Yeah. Cause every time <laughs> someone's like, what have you been in? I'm like, uh, uh, okay, like, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I shut the been, fuck up. I've had enough of this. I like. I bu- love it. Listen, when we You're do, like, check the internet, babes. Like, I don't have time to IMDb. list them all. <laughs> I'm looking at but your filmography, it, but it's weird when people are like, "Do you, uh, um, were you in anything that I've seen?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't know what you watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right." For sure. That, but that's Such an, an annoying that's question. That's a horrible question. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's a horrible, don't phrase it that way. Don't, that's like, that, that, yeah. That's my most common question. That's like it's literally so the most common question. Yeah. Well, I think it's more yeah. interesting to know the stuff that you're working on that you're excited about so that we can go and watch it, you know? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's one that I'm working on right now. I think I can talk about it. It's called Fellow Travelers and it's gay and it's vintage. It's like 1950s. And oh, so it's really gay. Like people don't touch. <laughs> yes. And like it's all secret, secret, hush, hush. I, unfortunately, I'm not a gay character in it, but it's okay. I'm well, flirting. a gay person playing a straight person and not all the straight <laughs> people are playing gay people, I'm assuming. Yes. Is that one has its go- Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's all <laughs> messed up. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited. I don't know when it's coming out, but um, we're just shooting it right now. That's well, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We, we got to go check that out. And I'm assuming follow you on Instagram to keep up with yeah. everything that you're working on. Where, yeah. where can people find you? At Kira Graves. And not Greaves, and which not is Greaves. what is listed in the name or of this. Or Griffin or whatever the fuck or, else you yeah. said. <laughs> or Griffin. <She's> Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Honestly, you know what? I get Kira Greaves all the time. So like, it's fine. It looks like I'm almost so sorry. similar. It's fine. It's similar. Um, What's Graves it, well, is the obvious choice, though. I'm so confused by that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Graves is the opposite cho- uh, obvious choice, but it is also like, if that's not the right name. Well, I had it written <laughs> down wrong. 
I had it straight up written down wrong. That's what I'm going to blame. I should have checked your input first before I went to mine, mm. but that's the mistake that's that I thought. made. Yeah. I guess we should do intros. Yeah. I'm Ashley Gavin, cis gay <laughs> white woman, she, her pronouns. Nah, I'm in a fucking mood. I'm in a mood. <laughs> I'm tired. I, uh. I am asleep right now. <laughs> This is going to be then, a great one, folks. Buckle so this up. is going to be an awesome, super riff heavy, <laughs> fast paced. Gr- Kira doesn't know me at all. And I'm feeling like I'm making a horrible first impression. It's not Kira, your best. Yeah, yeah, it's certainly not my number one. Kira, what do you how would you rank my first impression today? Um, well, you said you're having an off day. So I'm like, all right, I get it. You know? But you're mm-hmm. chill. You're fine. Like you're cool. That was out of such 10, a nice way of saying of terrible. T- I need objective data here. Out of ten, <laughs> you want me to do that on your podcast? I, no. I do. I do. Yeah. Oh, it's that bad, huh? I feel like so we have two zero. numbers that we need. We need the number. If what is it out of ten? If you didn't know that Ash was having a bad day today, like if Ash came on and was like, <laughs> "I'm having the best day ever," so this is like peak performance, Ash. Then what would the number out of ten be? I feel like any best impression I've made zero being I get me off of this podcast. (laughs) This I'm digging myself in a hole. You guys are digging me into a hole because (laughs) any answer I say right now is going to be the wrong answer. (laughs) No, 10 would be a great answer. You're it's that would be a great. I'd say like a five for me personally. (laughs) Five. (laughs) What about you, Kira? (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna Drink say water. I'm gonna say a six and a half. Okay, because okay, you're being yeah. nice. But so like what a four? Like really <laughs> deep in your soul? No, a solid six and a half. I'm sticking That's with good. that. That's Honestly, honest. I, I will like take that. six and a half, given that like my heart feels like it's under an anvil. Okay, oh, and then man, I'm I'm just off. I'm just off today. Oh. I don't know what happened. It happened about 20 minutes before we started. I hit this wall, mm. and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but you're still doing your job, you know, like you didn't, yeah. you didn't decide I, to quit. You were like, no, mm-hmm. I'm doing this. That's so. the bar. <laughs> you know, we are, this is going to shock you, Kira, yeah. but we are one of the most, if not the most popular gay podcast on the internet. Isn't that crazy? That's anyway. Insane. What a slay. Pe- especially Absolute given slay. six and a half out of 10. Um, <laughs> I, I think what that. I think what that really means is that queer people will listen to anything queer. Like that <laughs> whatever they will whatever's though. available. No, they really will. Yeah, they they will really the will. Low. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. You you uh, yes, you guys are simp little bottom pieces of shit for even listening to this right now. Oh yeah, Kira, I roast the listener. They're they're we call them the bottoms. That what Whoa. you're reacting to right now. <laughs> you are roasting the bottoms right now. Yes, I am. I am Is roasting this the bottom hate. No, it's bottom love. It's bottom <laughs> nation. Bottom love. That's what. That's what they call themselves, or what I've called them. I it's like that. a roasty relationship. I love it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm here for it. then as always, sometimes <laughs> the chancellor of cancellor to keep me from getting canceled, trying to trying to up up. Up from the north, trying to keep me out of hibernation tonight. What the fuck? <laughs> don't, 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 don't grizzlies go into hibernation? Aren't grizzlies oh. like a Canadian thing? Kira, I always have to sit through one of these terrible Canadian jokes <laughs> at the beginning of every, every podcast. Yeah, this one's not even a joke. <laughs> Americans Honestly. love to point out that we're from Canada. Every single chance they thing. get. Yeah. Well, there's a theme. There's a theme for every person who helps me keep from getting canceled on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And Bree is that I'm Canadian. It, it can, well, there's really nothing else about you, Bree, that I found particularly <laughs> interesting. So I zoomed in on that one. What do you think it should be, Bree? No, that's so fair. I, I, you know what? I love it. And previously, you've had some great jingles and raps. Today, again, five out of ten. It's just not. It's not your best. <laughs> that wasn't even a five out of ten. That was like a hard one or two. Uh, well, thank you for being Bree. Bree, do you mind introducing yourself for everybody? Hey, yeah, I'm Brian Williamson. I am on the internet everywhere at Brian Williamson. I'm a lesbian, and my pronouns are she/her. Thank you, Bree. And Kira, do you mind introducing yourself? We can help you with the format, but it's just basically what you want people to know about you. Yeah, I'm queer, I'm gender fluid, and my pronouns are they, she, and 
you know, honestly, mostly they, but like she, if you, you know, it's weird because if someone is going to like respect my pronouns and like mm-hmm. use they as well. I don't mind if they use she, but if you only use she, that's when it gets mm. annoying for me. Cause it's like, you're not acknowledging my, both my pronouns. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. It's almost like people, when people have pronouns that are they, she, or they, he, when they shortcut to always going to he or she, it's almost like a cop out in a weird way. Like they're Like, they're just like, oh, well, that's easier. I won't learn the new one. Good. Still, I have this other one that they used to use or whatever. Do you see that happening a lot? Yeah, that's exactly how it feels. Um, And sometimes I am, I'm like, should I just do they, them? But then I feel like I'm selling out because I like she is fine sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's no, I. I, I think that's super interesting. I, I think probably a lot of people quietly at home, a lot of cis people quietly at home are thinking, well, when, well, when, if we're going to use she, when? Yeah. Yeah. I think like if you use both, like just use both mostly like, you know, yeah. just spr- you can sprinkle in she like, but as long as it's mostly they, them, then mm-hmm. that's good. I know a lot of people get very confused when I talk about my pronouns on the internet. Like there's a lot of controversy around it. Like I posted TikTok <laughs> recently about this and like there's so What's much the controversy though. Like well, who's getting upset people and why? People are so wild people- on the internet, I tell you. <laughs> Pe- okay, so basically it was it was a song and it was called She. I think it was by Megan the Stallion and it was like it's like she 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 and it just keeps saying she over I'm and like over dancing. again. I'm like dancing. I'm like yeah. <laughs> she she. Uh, <laughs> and basically the tiktok is me being like hi my pronouns are they she and then i hear like the ah, she, ah, she ah. and i'm like oh okay. i like that and yeah. everyone's yeah <laughs> so that's people, a good good, t- good take thanks i actually but what's the i really want to know why people what people say when they're upset about it I try not to look because it's bad oh, for my mental health, but I see, yeah. you know, I see it in my comments uh, when I just briefly look through the notifications and a lot of people mm-hmm. are just like, just pick one or like, why mm-hmm. are you trying to be so special? Why are you making everyone do so much work? Um, <laughs> and, like, and just, you know, stuff like that. It's one, it's, it's one syllable. People that have never had to work at anything in their lives think that using a certain pronoun is work. Like what the <laughs> fuck? How is that work? Like, I know how it is really that work? is not. I think the only thing that the only question that I have is, is, is there some moment in your life where you feel more euphoric when one is used versus the other, especially I'm just going to say when she is used versus they, cause you're saying you're mostly like to hear they, is it like a thing with like a partner where they make you feel a certain way? Or is it like, I would say it's honestly more so I have moments where I really dislike she, and there's moments where I tolerate she. Yeah. Mm. But there isn't yeah. really any time where I feel like euphoric when people are like, she. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of right. like I will tolerate it. Yeah. It's almost like to help the those who are not used to it along. You're letting them know, like, <laughs> it's okay if you fuck up now and then. I'm, I'm, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. 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 I kind of keep that in there because I don't like, want to put words in your mouth. I just I think a lot of people. Mm-hmm. They don't understand that yeah. the amount of compensation that you're doing on their part for not getting it right. You know what I mean? I never thought about it mm-hmm. that way. Sometimes, for example, like I'll, you know, go on a new set and mm. I always put, you know, they, them in my email signatures because I'm like, you know, I prefer to use they, them on like in work things. Um, yeah. but sometimes when I go on set and I don't introduce myself, obviously people are going to say she, her, and sometimes it doesn't bother me. And sometimes it does. So when it bothers me, Mm. I say something and sometimes I just don't say anything. And I, especially when I'm playing a character that is she, her, and that is very like that embodies Mm. she, her for me it doesn't bother me as much because I'm playing a character. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah, Yeah, totally. I think it's also fascinating because you've been in the media, both online, but also like 
in a more traditional sense for so long, almost your whole life. So for you, in a way, there's so much to unpack with, with, you know, coming out as queer and using they, them pronouns, because you're like, all these media outlets, all these um, articles, all yeah. these amazing acting roles that I've had, like, that's a lot to shift, right? Yes. And the film industry hasn't yeah. completely, no. you know, shifted either. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I don't know. Lost my train of thought. Well, if you, if you find it, we can go back to it. I, I know this was a, we don't, I don't think this is, I think this is like the longest pronouns discussion we've ever done. I didn't mean <laughs> to put you on the spot like that. <laughs> no, um, that's but okay. uh, thank you. But thank you for sharing and yeah, asking, all, answering all of our questions. And since we've been doing this call for 40 minutes, it's a great, great time to start the, uh, the, the, the gay sex <laughs> stories. <laughs> Let's do it. I did have gay sex this week. Um, thank you very much. I'm I'm not going to talk about it today. Oh, no. I mean, here's a th- I am like it was exhausting because I had an exhausting yeah. the week. Okay. The okay. the week, the sex, exhausted <laughs> is a good a good uh a good word for me today and I have a story <laughs> okay that taps into exhaustion from a different point in my life when I was dating someone with a peanut allergy. <laughs> that was the most random connection. I've been exhausted this week, so I'd like to discuss dating someone with a peanut allergy. Now listen, to those nut allergy kids out there, okay? Yeah. I see you, I love you, I'm so mm. glad you're here. Yes. But dating someone with a major allergy allergy who is yeah. irresponsible about their allergy? Oh, is exhausting. It's exhausting. Are you allergic imagine to having cure? one? <laughs> no, I'm allergic to like I'm allergic. Yeah, <laughs> true. I'm allergic to like a medicine. Yeah, but some people take their allergies super seriously. Let the record c- show that Ash broke up with someone because they had a peanut allergy. Exactly, exactly correct. I dumped, <laughs> I dumped her. Well, the thing is that I, and I've written jokes about this, but she had a severe peanut allergy, severe. Okay. If it even got in the air, she wow. could have, like in her nostrils, That's she could so have scary. anaphylactic shock. Mm-hmm. And she was cu- allergic to peanuts and walnuts. And okay. the thing is that she had a fear of needles. So she never carried her EpiPen. And this was oh, the God. bane of my existence, the lack yeah. of EpiPen. We were just living on the edge at mm-hmm. all times. I was like walking a tightrope at all times. Peanuts are fucking everywhere. Yeah. And the thing is that it really did feel like cheating when she wasn't around, like because we were long distance. So whenever she left, I would just go ape shit with the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you have like so many needs for peanuts. Like, I feel like that's the easiest thing to cut out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Kira. Oh Big peanut God. fan. I eat peanuts every day. Peanut butter. Yes. Oh, have mm-hmm. you ever tried the peanut butter with the sea salt in it? No. Amazing. Fantastic. I got to get peanut on butter this. cups, peanut butter cups. One of my favorites. Okay. Peanut butter in like a chocolate ice cream. Amazing. Yes. Peanut okay. butter in your fucking smoothie. Yes. There's peanuts everywhere. Okay. And when she would leave, I would get (laughs) peanut butter and I would get Reese's peanut butter cups and I'd peel the little panties off the Reese's cup. Oh yeah. That is sexy. It felt so dirty because I could only do it when she was gone. I fucking peel them off. Yeah. And then when she came back, I I just dry, just rub it a peanut, peanut butter cup on my clit. Of course. Yeah. (laughs) Did you uh, lick the little piece that was still left on the wrapper? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. See, you gotta that, get that is. Because that, it's, you know, that's where the peanut butter cup's all sweaty. Um, <laughs> but that's the good stuff. Okay. This is, I don't know if these riffs make any sense. Alex doesn't seem to be laughing at all. So I think, I think we're really, I'm not, I know I'm killing it when Alex is chuckling in the corner. Alex is like, this is a weird one. I, anyway, you know, peanut, licking peanuts aren't, isn't for everyone. And that's okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I and then when she would come back I would have to scrub I'd have to do a full scrub I had to get it out of the house days before wipe everything down make sure it seems was like clean. so much work just for the you're damn right peanut butter cup wow you're damn fucking right how much do you love a person so 
Do you love them a peanut allergies amount? No, I didn't mean that it was weird that you put in the effort to scrub your house down. (laughs) I meant it was weird that it was worth doing all of that to eat a peanut butter cup. (laughs) It's funny that in my mind, the assumption is flipped. I'm like, of course. (laughs) Of course I would scrub the house down. Yeah, of course I would scrub the house down. But so that's how bad her allergy was. And her fear of needles was so bad that Mm. she didn't carry an EpiPen. That was the irresponsible part. Right. It's really not a big deal to not have to eat the peanuts or whatever. The big deal is that this person doesn't carry an EpiPen. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, it's just a life and death scenario all the time. And on several occasions, we would go out to dinner. We'd order something. (laughs) A tickle in the throat would start to emerge. I should order the like peanut (laughs) saute. We're at like a five star dinner. I'm like, I'm gonna have a bowl of peanuts, please. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. And then her throat would start tickling. I, you know, never saw it coming. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It was a big issue. And then what would inevitably happen is I started to carry a kid's Benadryl everywhere I went. Uh, yeah. It's a good because, idea. you know, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I wanted to keep this woman that I loved alive. Yeah, but also and and I didn't order peanuts or anything when she was around. Obviously, (laughs) I'm not a maniac. Yeah. So anyway, on one occasion, we go into Jenny's ice cream. Have you guys had Jenny's ice cream? Phenomenal. Great ice cream. I love ice cream. And the girl that I was seeing, how do I describe her? (laughs) She just had a look that invited just people wanted to flirt with her. Okay. Like she was really hot. No, not even that. Like, obviously, I felt that she was very beautiful and very attractive and hot and whatever. Yeah. But I think there's a specific look that people are like. I'm so confused. Can you describe your thought? I am so confused right now. (laughs) Yeah. I'm (laughs) trying to piece together what this could be. (laughs) This is what I feel like straight men say as an excuse to be like, well, she was asking for me, like flirting with her. Yes. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. She had a look about her. She just had a look. Pause, time out. I'm, what I'm not saying is, <laughs> well, she had these huge like, what the jugs fuck? in a skimpy little dress. Of course, she was fucking asking to get peanuts in her salad. No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. She had a very friendly face. And I think a face... Like almost like a cartoon. A cartoon? A yeah. cartoon. <laughs> Can you just describe it as a cartoon? Like a children's it was, cartoon. It was yes. Lola Bunny. It was Whoa. <laughs> She's always wearing those little cute basketball shorts. Kira, you know, Kira, it's a, can I check in with you? Uh, out of ten, what is my first impression now? <laughs> I think you dropped one and a half points. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, but do you guys, uh, I'll, she had like ringlets. I don't like describing people's <laughs> it's the, like hair. Ringlets. Yeah. She had like okay. adorable curly ringlets. hair. Okay. Curly okay. hair. Do you guys get what I'm saying? She, some no. people are you okay. You're just trying to say that she was like friendly, approachable and beautiful. Mm-hmm. All yes. everything. Sure, but I also think there are plenty of very attractive people that I'm just like, oh, I'm like, I would never talk to her. She's scary. Like, I'm intimidated by her. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like energy, it's more of an energy thing. Maybe you're it to, is more of an energy you're thing. You're trying to get across it. Like, she seems like someone that, like, if you went up and said hello, wouldn't be like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Yeah, exactly. She looks like, she just looks like she made a pie recently. I don't know how okay. to describe okay. You know what I mean? She pie maker. Five. Okay. <laughs> pie maker people. For the listeners, just picture your local pie maker. That's that's Hash's ex. But I'm picturing like a housewife. <laughs> no. Like, she always wears her why? apron around with her little ringlets and she's always carrying <laughs> <Yeah>. a pie. <laughs> <laughs> she's from the Midwest. <laughs> Little steam tendrils are just constantly floating around her. <laughs> you, I'm barely describing this woman. You guys are filling in blanks that I didn't put there. I just want to put, if you're going to give me a five out of 10, it's on your assumptions, not mine. 
All I'm describing is a very approachable, nice person with a okay. peanut allergy who feels like they recently made a pie. And okay. she's got curly hair. Okay. Hey. Got it. What does you this have to I do mean? with fucking ice cream? <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> <I'm getting laughs> we go in, so we go into Jenny's ice cream. <laughs> Listener, write in. Is the podcast fully unhinged now? Should I keep doing this? <laughs> okay, so she's trying to sell her pies to the owners of she the ice cream in, shop. She goes in. We we got our truck out front. We've got the hot pies in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> we go into Jenny's, and of okay. course, the ice cream clerk kid. He's like, I, we're like asking about the flavors. He's like, you want to try them? And we were like, yeah, we want to try them. He's like, nah, do you want to try all of them? Because this was wow. this the type of thing that would happen whenever I was with her because of this recently made pie energy that she <laughs> brings to every situation. People yeah. just offered her things. Yeah. So you, I don't have that energy. I, I'm going <laughs> to just say right now, I think I'm pretty good looking. I don't care what the listener <laughs> thinks. I think I'm a cutie patootie. Yeah. Yeah. But people no want you out of their ice cream shop the second you walk in. <laughs> I'm getting a five out of ten first impression rating. I'm 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 aggressive. I'm abrasive in a likable way. And once people get to know me, they're like, "Oh, Ashley's a big softy." But when they meet me the first time, they might be like, "That she's a cunt." Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here. <laughs> That. Did you think I was a cunt when this no. started? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at Kira, all. I gotta say, you have some freshly baked pie energy. Brie, you I have not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the thing is, if anyone talks to me, if any man, okay, if any man talks to me, mm. I'm like, get the fuck out. <laughs> sure. Just the pie energy is gone. The pie energy no is pie gone. Energy. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. It's like so you have to bring me pie energy as well. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. If we mm -hmm. both bring the pie energy, I will reveal my also, pie energy. <laughs> I was going to say reveal my pie. I was like, it's getting this is getting hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reveal my <laughs> cherry <For sure>. pie. <laughs> pie. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, but so this kid is like, hey, you know, do you want to try them all? And of course we're like, yeah. Yeah. So we're going down the line. One pops into her mouth. She's her eyes. <sighs> you know? Uh-huh. Like two big pie saucers. Yeah. Expand. Yeah. And she goes, Oh my God, is there peanut in this? And the guy's like, goes, Yeah, it's called fucking peanut butter cup <laughs> brittle ice cream. <laughs> 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 and he's like yeah and i was like i don't have my benadryl and i know she doesn't have her EpiPen. so then this kid i go to run down to a cvs to buy benadryl as quickly as possible not even yeah. buy i was gonna just be like hey i have an emergency i'll be right back so i'm running now here's the thing i'm not an athlete <laughs> i'm not in good shape especially at this point in my life i'm in very bad shape so I don't know what happened in the pie store or sorry, the ice cream store. <laughs> I don't know what happens in the ice cream shop, Jenny's, but I run maybe one block and then the kid behind the counter sprints by me, just boom, takes off. So now I'm getting cucked. I'm yeah. supposed to be the fucking hero running to the store, getting the Benadryl, saving my ex-girlfriend. Right. But now he's running to the store, getting the Benadryl, zips right by me, gets the Benadryl, Saves my fucking girlfriend. Do you even keep running? Because at that point, like, it's kind of embarrassing. I stopped. To do I fully it's, stopped. Yeah. yeah. It's embarrassing to do both, though, because when you stop, it's like, oh, you don't care anymore. If you keep running, it's like, we don't need you. Like, you're OK. Like, right. This kid's way faster. The, he's so much faster. There's Just no winning there. Limber. The mm. steps are like long, beautiful, graceful steps. Mm. And he saved he saved her freaking life, you know, because wow. that was a lot of peanuts. And uh, that's the. I don't know if we, I then Ash we broke up with her on the spot. I broke up with her immediately. I thought it's one thing for you to not carry your EpiPen around. It's another thing for me to get cucked because of it. Yeah, true. So yeah. 
the last straw. No, but when we did when we did break up, you got to know how nice it was bringing peanuts back in, <laughs> into my life. Wow, what a statement! You got to know how nice it was. So nice when we Damn. broke up. Damn. Wow. So like, I'm Heartwarming. I'm messing around. If you love someone, of course you should. <laughs> you know, I we did all kinds of peanut butter replacement, sunflower butter, all the whole. We did like pe- peanut free bacon, yada yada. But you gave it a shot. It, we I tried really hard, and yeah. I loved her very much, and I did not want her to die. But peanuts are great. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Listener, I don't know if you're anxious the way I'm anxious, but I can tend to spend a lot of time ruminating on a problem or my ever-growing to-do list instead of actually doing something about it. Do you ever think about how a situation might go better if you were more problem-solving focused than problem-listing focused as I can be? It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. And a therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. I've been in therapy a really, really long time. I know it's a great place to vent on kind of those ruminations that you might have, but it's also a great place to start solving those problems and just kind of adjusting your mindset towards them. I'm a big believer in therapy, and I think it's a great solution for no matter where you're coming from. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash WHGS today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash WHGS. That's my gay sex from this week. Kira, did you have gay sex this week? I was late for this podcast because I was having gay sex. That's Ooh, so awesome. I love this. Round of applause. That's that awesome. awesome. I'm getting Wait, ready. I got another one for you. It's the best oh, thing I've ever yeah. heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, there's more. Oh, oh. That was you before the podcast. You want more? I mean, if you really want to. How do you get the behind the scenes track? Yeah, that is wow. everything that was playing during it. It's <laughs> <laughs> like literally the soundtrack. Look, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta do it, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you know what? Like my partner just came back from Ohio visiting their family and we haven't <laughs> had time yet. And for some yeah. reason it was like, let's do it. We have 20 minutes. Okay, let's oh bang my God. it out. I love it. <laughs> I'm assuming, I don't want to get too personal, but I'm assuming this is, if we had to categorize it, we're talking about like, uh, how do how do I phrase this without being like a fucking dick? Like a quickie? Is that what you're yeah, trying this, to go Is with? it hard to have a quickie, you and your partner? <laughs> I feel like- <laughs> Biological <laughs> reasons? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I feel oh, like really? we, Yeah, no, not really. I mean, the only thing getting in the way is- the anxiety of like, oh, we don't have that much time. And like, I don't want to be late yeah. for this thing. Mm-hmm. But like, and that was like a little bit of a, you know, it stopped us for a little while. And well, then- let me stop you right there for a moment <laughs> because you gave me a six and a half on first impressions. And I did not even mention that you were late to the podcast. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck that you were late to the podcast. I know. And now I, I fully know why you were late I- to the podcast. <laughs> and I texted you. I was like, be there in five minutes. Were you texting me while you were during the deed? (laughs) No. I would deeply respect you. Literally imagine, (laughs) imagine I'm like BRB. (laughs) Just going to grab my phone. Five minute (laughs) countdown. Yeah. (laughs) Feels like I'm going to come in five minutes. Let me text Ashley. (laughs) Imagine if we could predict that. No, I have a joke about this that says, you know, trying to predict... Uh, an orgasm with me anyway it's like trying to predict a ripe avocado <laughs> that's like, a good now, one now now too late yes <laughs> <laughs> too late exactly oh. i'm all brown oh. i'm all <laughs> Dose. Done. and there's your diarrhea joke right there yes. <laughs> looping it right back to the beginning she's oh got to get out of bed and go to the bathroom no i i actually i was messing around 
you are really not that late at all. And I think having sex is a really good reason to be late to anything. <laughs> I, would agree. I was like, you know what? If anyone understands, it's you guys, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And when you're in the mood, I mean, you were just sometimes... doing research for the pod. You were just exactly. doing research. Yes. I was literally like getting ready. That was my like, mm-hmm. get ready with me routine. <laughs> that was my morning routine. That was my preemptive podcast routine. You have like your hand up behind a strap on. You're like, this is from. Um, wait, question though, because don't you feel like we could sense it on you when you got, whenever I have sex and I'm late to something, I'm always like, they fucking know. They can smell it on me. Well, you can't, you're not actually here, but. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, I washed my hands. Don't worry. I loved that. Um... <laughs> you don't have to. You're in the safety and privacy of your own home. You can do whatever yes. you want with your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, I was going to put on makeup. I was going to like do my hair. I was going to look you a look little beautiful. bit. Thank you. I was what I was going to look even more put together. Um, Mm -hmm. But alas, I didn't have time. Priorities. Priorities. No, but now you have the rosy glow. Now you have the rosy post-sex glow. Yes. So you know what? That's even better. And a dewy, a dewy, uh, uh, like a sweat, a dewy little. (laughs) I literally have sweat on my face. Dewey sweat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sex like makes you more attractive. It like it I makes agree. your cheeks red and um yeah. flushed and and yeah, you look good afterwards. You yeah, do. And that's you true. feel good and then you put that energy out into the world. Yes. Yeah. But exactly. did you have that paranoia that we knew? <laughs> no, because if you knew, I'm not ashamed of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I get paranoia. I get mm-hmm. paranoia that people know. Yes. When you've oh had sex. God. <gasps> yeah. One time I was, I think I was actually late to an audition because I was having <gasps> sex with my part with an ex. So this is a, <laughs> this is a theme. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like to be <laughs> under the wire, like under pressure. You're like, okay, I've got a very important meeting in half an hour. We got to do this now. <laughs> Maybe we have discovered my kink. <laughs> yes. Because that pressure is hard. It's hard when you, when you're on the clock. Yes. Yes. That freaks me out too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But also, it's kind of fun. Yeah, totally. You know? So I know. fun. I also want to do it in like a movie theater. Oh. <laughs> That's like on my bucket list is like sitting in the back row. <laughs> I like the idea of it being in the back row of a movie theater, but you're trying to get it done before the movie starts. I was going to say, yeah. Just to combo the pressure. So you're like, it's during the previews. You're like, we've got, we got five minutes of previews. Nothing sexier than that preview voice in a world (laughs) where you're getting finger blasted in the back of a a movie theater. (laughs) One person and one person alone (laughs) has to come. (laughs) But you know what? Wouldn't that be hot? Like I've been thinking about, I don't know where I got that idea from, but it sounds, it sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Because you have to Would be you quiet. Do it? Yes. You do have to be quiet. Yeah. You have to yeah, be There's quiet. something like about the, having to be quiet that is sexy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I agree. I get, whenever I'm doing anything even remotely public, I get anxiety. <laughs> I, I can't, like. Yeah. Like, I said remotely public, like walking out in the street, like not a sexual act. Whenever I'm on a <laughs> bus anything. in public, I just start getting just anxiety. <laughs> that's, a, um, that's a vibe, though. That's a vibe. Have, you, have you had like a semi-public sexual experience or a pressure experience? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, well, one time <laughs> me and my part, my current partner were having sex in their car in a parking garage in the front seat and we were parked oh. and you know, those like little, I want to say little go-kart or no golf carts. Yes. Golf carts. Yes. The, the, the people that were working in the facility were riding mm-hmm. the golf cart around and they stopped like right in front of the car <laughs> and literally saw, and I looked up and they were all like, 
No. <laughs> they knew. They, they knew. They knew exactly what we were doing. Were you naked? I think we were bottomless, but like, I feel like I had a top on. I, I must have yeah. had a top on. Yeah. <laughs> that would be no, a little Who weird. gets butt naked for color sex? <laughs> <laughs> you take I, every item of clothing on. <laughs> just as inconvenient as possible. Left and right. <laughs> Have you ever tried to get changed in a car? Like, yes, it's, so it's brutal. Hard. So hard. I oh, for some reason somehow like, being naked in a car feels more naked than other places. Yeah. yeah, especially if you don't have tinted windows. Oh yeah, of course, of course. You were in the front seat. Yes, they knew what was going on. So w- you're making eye contact with these people. What's well, the okay. next thought? I think it was like right when it ended. It was like right when we completed the act yes. and I we like both looked up and we're like oh shit <laughs> and like <laughs> struggled to get our pants on and they oh, were just no. like laughing and they drove away but like I was oh, scared that's that- so chill of them that's yeah. so nice that they did that I was so scared <laughs> they were gonna like do something like get us in trouble or I don't know what they would have done yeah. but good yeah. for them I like a chill adult that lets the kids keep having sex yeah i mean <laughs> just they takes were, like, the shocked. golf cart away <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were shocked they laughed keep it moving. and then they drove off yeah exactly that's funny <laughs> keep it moving they're like what you're doing is great but you got five more minutes okay <laughs> yeah. then you gotta mosey on to the next parking lot <laughs> yeah So you're definitely like into like some like kind of there's definitely like between the public thing and like the time thing you definitely like like a Little bit like of a little bit of it. a little bit of pressure. I yeah. think this is like literally helping because like sometimes <laughs> you don't know what you like. Yeah. So yeah, I feel until like you talk, talk about it. Yeah. So talking about it like actually really helps. <laughs> Maybe you can be Where's my sex from- therapist today, Ashley. <laughs> okay. But if you're, if you're going to say that to me, you got to bump me up to at least a seven, seven right. and a half on first impressions, because right, I feel so. like, I feel like I've turned a corner here a little bit. Yes, I think you, the, you have. the peanuts were good foreplay for, True. uh, you know what they say about good peanut. I'm tired. Oh, Why? <laughs> the thing is that you can't do sharp riffs on a tired day. You have to just kind of yeah. live in the premise you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no yeah. one knows what I mean. I'm a stand up no. comedian and you guys are just famous <laughs> actors and YouTubers. What do you know with your <laughs> successful careers? <laughs> yeah, oh, I find that pressure. What do you think, Brie? I find that pressure psychologically. I can't handle it. I think it's much more difficult for me to get there because I have to be like very focused on what's going on personally. I love yeah. the experience when like if I were to be topping someone else or I was like trying to get them there. Yeah. No, that's for what me personally. Is. Yeah. For me personally, I don't think I could get there under that potential yeah. okay, pressure. Yes. When you're topping, it's like a challenge. Can you get this done yes. in 20 minutes? Yes. yes. And that's what I like about it. Cause I mm-hmm. like topping the most. So right. there you go. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Much harder for me. I can't come in that. I can't receive in that environment. It's too much. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't even know if I have like, cause I feel like it's usually me just being the top. So like, I don't know if I even have had to receive it, but even, even still, it's like a fun experience. Even if you don't orgasm, it doesn't matter. Of course. course. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to have an orgasm for it to be like a, a really fun sexual experience. But I know for me, if I were receiving, I'd just be like, I'm, I'm a little stressed. Totally. Yeah. yeah. I should be like, stressed. this parking lot actually closed at seven and the bylaw <laughs> yeah. officer is going to be by soon. So we better <laughs> skedaddle right out of here. And that's exactly what I would say. I would say skedaddle because I'm 900 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Why does, that's what I'm picturing. That like sounds like a Canadian thing to say. Is it not? Skedaddle? Yeah. Skedaddle. I've heard skedaddle before. <laughs> skedaddle crosses borders. Yeah. (laughs) Illegally. She's international. (laughs) Well, that was great. I think there's also like a lot to learn there, like in switching up your, I think that's just like a good reminder to like Mm -hmm. try switching things, reversing things in a thing that you like to see if you like it the other way too. Now you got to go to a parking lot and and get fucked. (laughs) Yeah. You know, maybe I was getting fucked that day in the car. I don't really know. (laughs) 
I might have been actually. I don't know. It it is a blur. (laughs) Yeah. It's a blur when you see the security cam and the guys in the golf cart go scootering by. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. that's true. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for sharing. We're going to go to, we're going to go to Brie. Listener, you're a little queer. Okay. Or you're queer adjacent. You're, you're queer. If you're listening to this, you're an honorary queer. And as an honorary queer, I know that you hate capitalism. All right. And some of those capitalist bastards are scamming you and they're renewing your subscriptions without you even knowing it. And you're paying for shit that you don't even need anymore. Okay. Okay. And that's why I love Rocket Money. I've been using Rocket Money for a really long time. It used to be called True Bill. And I've been a customer of Rocket Money since before I even started the podcast. I love it. What I love about it is it's so easy to use. It goes in and deletes all my unused subscriptions like, like that, like that, listener. I'm snapping. Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when it's actually closer to $200 plus That's right, you could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. And that's why you need Rocket Money. The app shows you all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. That's happened to me. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. Bree, did you have gay sexes? You're chuckling. Something's good. Well, okay. So it was, it was my girlfriend's birthday. and That's great. So that's always exciting and fun. And I feel like, Everyone knows you can have sex anytime, but there's something like fun about like the idea of like it's someone's birthday. Maybe you're doing something fun and then it's going to be yeah. like fun sex. Yeah. Okay. So here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend. Wow. This sounds like it's definitely not going to be fun. You're like how fun it is to have sex with your girlfriend on their special day. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> we went fun. away for the weekend and I, you know, fun and flirty and she was on a tube behind the sea do that I was operating. Oh, no. <laughs> and I may have broken my girlfriend's ribs. <gasps> oh, no. Fun, fun, fun. Now tell me, so, did you have sex after you broke your girlfriend? Like, What kind of pressure, how much pressure do you want on a rib when you're having yes. sex? So here's the thing. Since then... Wait, I, I need li- to know exactly how you did it, Brie. You're not getting away that easy. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest, because it's like ribs are a weird thing we've come to learn. No. I thought that no. ribs would take like a, like if, if someone like, you know, got hit really hard specifically. <laughs> ribs are, I fa- took me a minute to find it, but ribs are a weird thing. That's your excuse. You broke your girlfriend's <laughs> ribs and you're like, here's the thing. Ribs are weird. It's it's on the ribs, honestly. It's I I don't want to take any ownership for this. It's on the ribs. <laughs> ribs are just they they break constantly. And just brittle, girl, you know. Girlfriends almost n- have nothing to do with it ever. You can breathe too hard and your ribs ribs can break. So I just think you know it would have happened regardless if she was on the tube or not. That's what that's the way I would like to think about it. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, she was on the tube. We were going, you know, pretty hard on the tube. And I guess like there was like a, a moment and then like a couple of her ribs have cracked. Did, 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 but what? So she was, she was, was laying chest vague. down. Yeah, exactly. More well, que- I think hit her with the hard hitting questions, Kira. Was she laying belly down on the No, tube? she was, she was on, she was, it was one of those cedar tubes. So there was three people on the tube. Yep. So we're thinking in the mix up, potentially someone's arm <laughs> or something may have struck someone the ribs. Someone else, not you, yes. struck the ribs. Yes. So, <laughs> and I will say, I don't know the actual time of incident because she's a good sport. She continued the tube ride. Okay. <laughs> and then afterwards, she gets off the tube and she comes up and she's like, babe, I think something's wrong with my, my fucking ribs. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? She's like, no, I think something's seriously wrong. So You're anyways, like, what do you mean? You flew when I suddenly stopped, you flew off the tube and rammed yourself chest first into the ski do. I don't know what you're talking about. And then I, I began to punch you in the ribs over and over again. What, what do you mean? Words, your ribs in the words of Kira, it's a blur. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what? No one can be <laughs> sure who was doing what in this occasion. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then this was a small town where we were, so there wasn't like a hospital or anything. Um, so what? she was. <laughs> Oh no! So we drove home the next day, and then she went to the hospital on her actual birthday. Where the and fuck were you? I know you can't. Sk- were you on an island? <laughs> no, we were just in. A, we were just in a small lake down, and then we drove home the next day. She went. They to the don't hospital. have hospitals, but they do have ski doos and tubing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, they, and so they did the X-ray or whatever, and they're like, "Yeah, like three of your ribs are <gasps> fucked up." Oh, so, so oh, this no. was on her actual birthday. Fucked up so. was the diagnosis, Brie. What was the exact diagnosis of the ribs? Fra- fractured? Yeah, I, I, three of them were were they had the the markings on them that they're fractured, broken. They don't care with ribs. They're just like, okay, nothing's jabbing you in the fucking lungs, so go home and deal with it. They don't put a cast on. They don't anything. They don't care. Are you serious? Yeah, there's nothing they can do for ribs. Anyone who's had a rib problem knows <laughs> there's nothing you can do for fucking ribs. All you you go in, they that check sucks. to make sure nothing's like punctured your lung, and then they tell you to get the fuck out. You're like, good this luck. This is just one of those episodes where you're like, the human body is just right. Well, if you think about it, there's nothing they can do for ribs because you're breathing and stuff. So you're always it, you just have to wait four weeks for them to hopefully repair themselves. It's just it is what hopefully. it is. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So what so if then, they don't? So we're, yeah, what if they don't? So we did we'll try and out. give it one go after this situation. Oh. And I it was it was like we just ended up laughing because it was like she couldn't move. Like, you know, one oh. of those like old school things where you picture someone walking in with the full body cast. <laughs> That was her, but like on her back in bed with no cast on, just like unable to like do any movement. Because I'm sure she doesn't want to breathe sharply. Yes. Or like, so then once yeah. it started getting going, it was okay at first, but then once it started getting going, she was like, "We need to, we need to wrap this up. This hurts too much." Aww. So her birthday sex was me breaking her ribs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my story. Is she icing them? Is she going to be all right? Yeah, she's doing all the stuff. She's going to be good. But, you know, it just is what it is. Ribs are ribs. How you know, long those has things, it been? <laughs> those things will just go at any time. Boys will be boys and ribs will be ribs. <laughs> and exactly. You know, ribs be breaking. So <laughs> watch out. You you bend the wrong way and those things fucking snap. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, how long till she'll be well? Because I'm genuinely worried about her. It, on the mend, but I, they, they don't know again, like probably another two weeks. Okay. Okay. Well, my, all my love Thank you. to, to your sh- just absolutely precious, delicate girlfriend. I know. Brittleless and- ribs in the country. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was great. Gay sex. Kira, thank you so much for being here. We're going to do some butt plugs. <laughs> what? what is that? Everyone, pull out your butt plug. All I love right. every time now Ash says time this. The to guest pull out is like, the "What bug the plug? Fuck? Butt plug? No, just where can people find you? Yeah. What do you want people to it's know? Your plugs. It's your plugs. Cool. Yeah. Literally, you can just follow me on Instagram at Kira Graves, TikTok at Kira dot Graves, and YouTube Kira Graves. <laughs> and that's nice. it. And definitely not Kira Greaves, and definitely <laughs> not Kara Griffin. Kara yes. Griffin's followers are going to rock it up after Kara this Griffin, episode. Go find Kara Griffin and follow her as Kara well. Kara Griffin. <laughs> no, truly, people like love your stuff. They do. Aww. I'm a big fan of it. I love your content. Specifically, Thanks. your like your whole like queer journey. I just love seeing your posts about it. I've learned so much from you. Brie, you're so fucking gay sometimes. I, your I queer love journey. It. I love it. It's good. Everyone should go check it out. If anything that you heard today you relate to besides the broken ribs and the peanuts anything of importance <laughs> that Kira said you should go follow Kira because they have some really <laughs> cool content and thank Thanks. you so much for doing you're welcome back anytime Aww. um that's it Bree I wanted to pick your brain about something real quick what what are you pointing at me for what oh me oh yeah Bree plug your stuff Thank oh. you, Alex. Um, you can find me anywhere at Brianne Williamson. Yeah, right, fuck Alex, you, Ash. I need to plug my shit too. Alex pointed at me. I think what we're laughing about is Alex pointed at me, and I was like, "What?" 
<laughs> what do you want? God, you're so annoying. God, you just keep this whole thing running and together. You're so fucking annoying, Alex. <laughs> just on edge. Jeez. Um, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> you can find me anywhere at Brianne Williamson, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. And I also have a podcast, uh, LGBTQ plus podcast called at I Can Explain Podcast. It's probably better than this one. This one is <laughs> floundering. Fl- <laughs> You know, oh God, just total crap that people just listen to because they're <laughs> gay or whatever. Um, I, I got my tour. You guys know I got my tour. AshleyEvan.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Patreon.com slash WHGS. We're in the new studio. We're almost done setting it up. Your donations make it possible. Tour dates are also really helpful for funding the pod. So go get on the text alert. Make sure you don't miss me. I'm coming back to Phoenix. I'm going to Salt Lake City. Chicago is coming up. A bunch of new tour dates we're, we're adding right now. And uh, my gay thought. Listen, I'm wearing a Bottom Nation shirt right now. And sometimes when I say I have Bottom Nation merch at my shows, I can feel the tops get upset. The tops are like, bottom. I've never bottomed in my life. My knees don't bend. I've never sat down. And here's the thing. I don't own chairs. Here's the thing, tops. Real tops bottom. Just like real men cry, real tops Lay down and take it from time to time. I think if you're really going to, if you're insecure, if you're so insecure as a top that you can't wear a Bottom Nation t-shirt, you're not, how much of a top are you? You seem a little fragile. That's all I'm saying. Just see, it just feels a little bit like, what are you so insecure about? Real top's bottom. (laughs) Have a good week, guys.